Okay, never mind. There we are. Could I have you swipe it? It didn't go through. Okay. There we go. Alrighty, thank you. Guys, you hear that? That guy's British. In Bakersfield. I know, a British person in Bakersfield. And he's at Starbucks. I know, what the heck? So I gotta get this on camera. I've never seen a British person in uh, in person before. Oh, I have. I had a British teacher when I was in the seventh awesome. grade. Awesome. I've never seen a British person in person before. <laughs> I've had a Russian teacher. There you are. Thank you. You have a nice day. You as well. Okay. Thank you. This is a white vision and a baby Yoda. <laughs> Okay guys, so you saw our, our Disney versions of Starbucks drinks. So now we are about to watch Raya the Last Dragon. I I don't know if she's gonna be a princess. I, I haven't figured that out yet. I kind of feel like she's not. But if she is, she's gonna be like the coolest princess ever. I saw her sword, it's awesome. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Did you press play? <laughs> Daisy couldn't even wait for me to finish, jerk. <laughs> So we just finished watching Raya the Last Dragon. I love that movie. It, yes, was, it was so really good. Good. It was good. It was really well thought out, but my complaint. It was a little Dang. too close, sorry, but it was a little too close to Avatar for me. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, but I still liked it. It was really good. I love the animation. I like the fact that we saw goose pimples on people's arms. That was, oh, that was awesome. Yeah, um, oh. I don't, I don't know her uh, her, her name. name but <laughs> just finished short, watching. Short hair, shaved on one side. Yeah. Um, there's a scene where you could see like uh, little like balls on her on her uh, her shirt, her vest. Like you could see like you know like material when it gets like mm -hmm. worn. There's like little like lint, lint like balls. balls. Yeah, yeah. And it was on her vest. Like, it was Whoa. good. Oh my goodness, I love the story. I love like the lesson it was teaching that uh, about trust and stuff like that. And uh, you yeah, know. I noticed that. Yeah, that was that was definitely the theme of it. Was like trust, and I think that's good that a lot of these Disney movies are starting to teach kids like, like really important morals like mm -hmm. that to make them like we're gonna have some better people mm -hmm. running this world. Yeah, in the next generation. Yeah, I think that was that was such an awesome movie. I would suggest really you guys watch the movie. It's so good. Um, not really a tearjerker, I wouldn't say, but it'll, no. it'll keep you like yeah, it'll keep yeah, watching. Definitely not yeah. something that you would unless you're like one of those people that cry when you see family reunion. Maybe reunion. like if you're <laughs> easy, if you're an easy tearjerker, then yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so much. But the, you know, they they do have moments where you're like, oh, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but it was it was such an amazing movie. Um, I like, uh, Raya's character I actually really liked. Yeah. I like, uh, characters that have, uh, development throughout the story, and I believe Raya had a lot of development. She went from being this, this very trusting girl to being scorned, uh, yeah. and being betrayed, but then, then she, when times were tough, she had to put her trust into someone else's hands, and she delivered in the best way possible. <laughs> And I believe that was, to me, I love that character development. Um, some of her, her like the characters in there, they do remind me of characters from Zuko, like uh, the main the girl, video. short hair shaved on the side. <laughs> we don't some know about her. her character, I don't know her name, sorry. <laughs> Something about her character reminds me a little bit of Zuko. Zuko yeah. had like they had that crossroad moment where they wonder, are they on the right side? And she had that moment, and it was like the most dire moment and uh, she actually came through. It was actually kind of nice to see her change. We kept, I just, when I saw her, I was like, Zuko, I'm calling it. <laughs> and then um, the baby. I oh, love the baby. The baby. The baby. Oh my goodness, she was that so baby. cute. Yes, and that baby, she, she can fight. Like whoever saw the trailer with the baby, she uh, does a lot more. You she know what else too? Tuk Tuk really reminds me of Papa. Yeah, Tuk Tuk is Appa. Yeah. I think the baby and her little companions are like Momo. Uh huh. But more like. The baby action. was like a toff. Yeah. In she's way, a she was tough. And then they have little, she has little companions, little monkey companions. Uh -huh. Like the Momo, I guess. Yeah, and the captain, Captain Bao. That's the only name I really remember. I know the, the baby's name is actually Noi. They yeah. say it once throughout the whole movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I remember that and no one else's name. <laughs> um, captain Bao, he's, he was cool. He's, he was looks awesome. Like, 
Shark Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I love this character. To be honest, I felt like he was the most innocent out of everybody. Yeah, he was. He was really trustworthy. Uh huh. And then the other guy. Not even the baby. He yeah, you her. couldn't even trust the baby. Um, the other guy that was with them, he reminded me of General Iro. He was like that calm piece, uh, the voice of reason amongst a bunch of chaos when everybody was yelling yeah, and screaming. He was he, the voice he of reason. He really scary too, but he was actually like, yeah, he was actually really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I I think I have a theory for why everybody in the movie, you know, did this. I think I have a theory. My theory was when when they did that that was literal like a sign of submission and a sign of trust that they were yeah. trusting anybody who was on the outside of that to get them out of the situation and reunite the world and i felt like this was just like the most yeah, submissive it, form you could it, do it didn't matter what they were doing at the time if it, they got overtaken by that thing they, they automatically just did that move and then i noticed that um you know how like I'm pretty sure people could have been fighting in the middle of that because they, they did show a moment where there were some people in the desert. I can promise you they were fighting. Yeah. And then they they all had that that you know every last person even a child was doing it. And I yeah. just believe that move was just a moment of like surrender and and submission uh, to something that was bigger than yourself. And I felt like everybody in the world uh, where where it was is they were all out for themselves because even. Um, the one I'm gonna call it the Fire Nation because they were pretty much the Fire Nation. It just seemed like their leader was literally all out for themselves. Like she didn't even think about reuniting nothing. She just wanted, and, and on top of that, she took the biggest piece. She mm -hmm. took the biggest piece. And I just felt like everything about her was just me, 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 all for myself. Yeah. But I think it was a humbling moment for everybody when they all had, you know, to do that moment of where mm -hmm. they had to have their hands up because. Uh, even if that woman, no matter how strong she was, no matter what big piece she took, she was still stuck in this position too, just like everybody else. So I guess at the end of it, it didn't matter how, what the biggest piece she got and what her army looked like, you were just going to be just like everybody else. It just didn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was such a really great movie. It was, it was really well, well, well I can't talk, well written. It was such a good movie. Um, um, Sisu the dragon was cool. Aquafina did an awesome job. Yeah, I liked her. She said, I don't know why, but a dragon was relatable. Like how, yeah. like how many times I, she can say she that? She was, she was really sweet. It seemed like everybody like was corrupt, and she was like so pure. Mm -hmm. She was so pure. She always wanted to give everything. You know, yeah, she, she really always wanted giving. to give, give, but she never really expected anything uh -huh. back. But she was just really giving. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I loved her character. She was so sweet and pure. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, please watch this movie. It was so good. It really was. It was so wonderful. All right. So we're going to be doing uh, Coming to America yeah, next. Yeah, Coming to America Yeah, we next. haven't watched that yet because we chose to watch this one first because, yes, it's Disney. <laughs> <laughs> So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Also comment down below if you have seen this movie. Uh, I don't know, like leave like a thumbs up emoji in the comments below if you really like this movie or tell us if your theories of this movie. I hope they incorporate this in Disneyland somewhere. Please just don't let this movie Ooh. go into nothing. If you guys can do all kinds of work for, yeah, if they could do a bunch of work for Frozen, they could do something for this movie. This movie's good. and. There's a possibility Raya might be a new princess. Yeah, she is. She does meet some of the criteria that we do know of she being is an a princess. Animal friend. Uh huh. Her name is in the title. She is of royalty. Um, what else? She has she, a missing parent. Yeah, she does have a missing parent, and she committed an act of heroism. A really big one. Yeah, like but, Mulan style. Yeah, Mulan big. And yeah. I, but the only problem is, I wonder if she'll be a princess. She wasn't wearing a dress. Well, Jasmine had parachute pants. Yeah, true. <laughs> so I don't know, but I don't know. That was another criteria: is how well her movie did in the box office. Oh, we no, don't I'm know scared. that yet. We don't know yet because I'm scared. it just came out. So we'll find out soon enough. So she better. Yeah. Because I want to see some little girls dress up like Ryan. I would like to see that too. You know what? It'd probably be really great to see a bunch of little girls who see a princess that looks like them. 
That would be nice. I remember I was excited when I saw Tiana. I was like, oh my gosh, princess. I was so excited when I saw Tiana. Yeah, a princess that finally looks like me. My little cousin got to dress up like her for Halloween. Oh my god, oh that my was god. such a so wonderful adorable. moment. Yeah, you guys actually met her, Soraya. She was yeah. dressed up as Tiana once for Halloween. When Around when the, when the movie first came out. I think she was like three then or four. Yeah. She was so cute. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was such a wonderful moment. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm getting all the, the feels. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's it for this video. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.